Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Santa's channel and I'm so excited to uh, present this video to you guys. Uh, finally, um, after the update today that we, uh, it was like about 3 hour update and after the update that we had today, uh, there's finally a new awakened character that just came out. Uh, fresh and new, uh, there's an event going on as him as well. Um, if you get him during this period until January 6th or 7th and uh, you get a Fina when you can transcend and if you make him into plus 10 you get a weapon for the raid weapon for him as well I think so the character that I'm going to introduce you today for the awakening is the Zeke finally the Zeke got the awakening he was on the cover page on the title um, I had to uh, get him to plus 5 as quick as possible so I can um, make this video for you guys but you know um I did purchase some the uh, structure uh, the key, the structure of the destruction whatever the fragment of destructions uh, with the topaz that I you know saved up over the um, the months that I've been playing so I finally I, I, I was able to get it so I'm gonna take him out of all the teams so I can awaken him and then finally. I will go ahead and do that. So I have exactly 300 and you guys can briefly see how he looks like on the picture here. He looks just amazing with his new sword. Um, so I'm so excited. So let's get to awaken him right away. So here it is. Now you guys probably seen this before. You gotta, ma gotta make a plus five of whatever character. Um, and then you know uh, have to have 300 uh, fragment of destruction. So here it is. And wow look at this here's the Zeke here's the new Zeke um, he looks really amazing with this new sword and everything and I'm going to go over his skills and he's gonna be really useful in a lot of different content so I'm very excited uh, about him as well so his passive is that um, you know he's allies that gets immune to any kind of stun for six uh, turns you know that's why he was used in a uh, raid a lot for uh, that purpose but now uh, in addition to that um, anytime when he makes a regular attack um, the cooldowns for your allies uh, decrease by 10 seconds so you know that's just really great um, reducing cooldown is just really great and this uh, for decks that you know have a um, high cooldown um, like a buff removing uh, skills and things like that um, the first skill the crush it is 70 second cooldown and 230% physical damage and for three turns um, increases damage that they take by 80% um, so I think he could be the better replacement for ace right now I think the ace had ace is let me just check real quick to uh, compare the specific number the reason why ace was used was because of that but now um, it's exactly same as this any kind of damage they take by 80% so you know uh, that's that's not bad they're both same but ace is for you know two uh, two turn while Zeke is uh, for three turn uh, with the same cooldown so it's just um, I think it'll be you know used more and then his the, um, the break the seal whatever move uh, 150 second cooldown which is a lot I think that's the main reason why they added the reduced cooldown when you do the regular attack 600% um, physical damage to one single target so it's you know a lot of uh, you know percentage damage uh, physical damage going in also um, uh, applies you know the critical and then increases the skill that uh, skill cooldown for the enemy uh, for 85 seconds 85 is just unheard of before um, they had like 50 seconds before but 85 seconds is a lot um, so it's gonna be used a lot in the boss uh, as well as you know some other ones as well so it's just really great um, and then finally his uh, awaken skill is just insane one person single target 1000% uh, of the physical damage is just never heard of so he's like a pure the brute force you know the guy just like his image you know so I'm very excited and also uh, increases the allies a uh, regular base attack damage uh, for, uh, by 40% for six turns so you know um, he'll be used a lot I think for uh, like arena I uh, know I mean like a castle rush or uh, raid boss any kind of ones that you know you want your teams to do more damage especially with a Jupy or Shane who de who de deals a lot of a regular attack damage as well so you know that's just really great um, I'm really excited to use him in on uh, different things 
I think he just looks amazing without a costume so I'll just like you know leave it and finally let's look at his skills so I'm just going to do slow-mo just because I'm doing uh, Zeke only so here's the regular move um, the both the rest of the moves the skills are exactly same the animation but I think they just added like a like a more like a black red you know those uh, colors to it when he attacks so you see the background changes but the animation um, basic animation is exactly the same uh, for this one too the sword gets big and then you know um, goes down uh, I guess the difference is that the sword that uh, changed and they added you know some animation to it so that's really great and here is the awakening skill I was so shocked when this came out it looks really amazing and yes look at that and it just slashes it with a you know 1000 uh, percent so it's just really amazing I really like his um, animations and how he looks as well um, so he's probably gonna be one of my um, favor after Shane I think Shane still looks you know really amazing but you know Zeke um, when the cover uh, picture came up you know it was everyone was just talking about it so um, here's here's the awakened Zeke um, I hope if you guys get it uh, too um, if you guys haven't had time to get a Zeke um, I think he'll be really useful so um, if people who wants to do more damage on Castle Rush or you know raid and boss and things like that he's definitely gonna be the one who's needed um, because of you know his skills is just really amazing um, and I think he uh, let me see uh, go to the encyclopedia real quick to see at what's the, at the max level um, I could make him into level 40 right now currently but um, maybe I'll uh, wait a little so here's the Zeke it's just really amazing I know they had some uh, remakes for the um, global one for um, some of the characters as well which I'll go over in different videos but here it is so let's make him level 40 plus 10 so you know 5,000 life is not bad you know he'll be pretty tanky and 1,700 attack uh, with the item will be close to be like what you know like 2,000 uh, maybe a little bit over that you know and 1,000 percent of that you know is just amazing insane damage that he can deal uh, I guess his downside is that it's a single target but he'll be mainly used in like a castle rush and things like that which you know it's a single target uh, most of the time so I think he'll be still very useful um, I hope you guys like my videos um, and um, if you guys have any questions or things like that just comment on the bottom and then I'll be uh, back with more videos with the seven knights um, peace out. Then his uh, the f um the break the seal whatever move, uh 150 second cooldown which is a lot. I think that's the main reason why they added the reduced the cooldown when you do the regular attack. Um 600 percent physical damage to one single target. So it's you know a lot of uh, you know percentage damage uh, physical damage going in. Also um uh, applies you know the critical and then increases the skill that uh, skill cooldown for the enemy uh, for 85 seconds 85 is just unheard of before um, they had like 50 seconds before but 85 seconds is a lot um, so it's gonna be used a lot in the boss uh, as well as you know some other ones as well so it's just really great um, and then finally his uh, awakened skill is just insane one person single target 1000% uh, of the physical damage is just never heard of so he's like a pure the brute force you know the guy just like his image you know so I'm very excited and also uh, increases the allies a uh, regular base attack damage uh, for, uh, by 40% for six turns so you know um, he'll be used a lot hello guys uh, welcome back to Santa's channel and I'm so excited to uh, present this video to you guys uh, finally um, after the update today that we uh, it was like about three hour update and after the update that we had today uh, there's finally a new awakened character that just came out uh, fresh and new uh, there's an event going on as him as well um, if you get him during this period until January 6th or 7th and uh, you get a Fina when you can transcend and if you make him into plus 10 you get a weapon for the raid weapon for him as well I think so the character that I'm gonna introduce you today for the awakening is the Zeke 
finally the Zeke got the awakening. He was on the cover page on the title. Um, I had to uh, get him to plus five as quick as possible so I can um, make this video for you guys. But you know, um, I did purchase some the uh, structure uh, the key, the structure of the destruction whatever that fragment of destructions uh with the topaz that i you know saved a lot i think for uh like arena i uh, know i mean like a castle rush or uh raid boss any kind of ones that you know you want your teams to do more damage especially with a jupy or shane who de who the de deals a lot of a regular attack damage as well so you know that's just really great um i'm really excited to use him in on uh different things I think he just looks amazing without a costume, so I'll just like, you know, leave it. And finally, let's look at his skills. So I'm just going to do slow mode just because I'm doing uh, Zeke only. So here's the regular move. Um, the, both, the rest of the moves, the skills are exactly same, the animation, but I think they just added like a, like a more like a black, red, you know, those uh, colors to it when he attacks. So... You see the background changes, but the animation, um, basic animation is exactly the same. Uh, for this one too, the sword gets big and then, you know, um, goes down. Uh, the, I guess the difference is, is that the sword that uh, changed and they added, you know, some animation to it. So that's over the um, the months that I've been playing. So I finally I, I was able to get it. So I'm going to take him out of all the teams so I can awaken him. And then finally, I will go ahead and do that. So I have exactly 300. And you guys can briefly see how he looks like on the picture here. He looks just amazing with his new sword. Um, so I'm so excited. So let's get to awaken him right away. So here it is. Now you guys probably seen this before. You gotta, you gotta make a plus 5 of whatever character. Um, and then, you know, uh, have to have 300 uh, fragment of destruction. So here it is. And wow, look at this. Here's the Zeke. Here's the new Zeke. Um, he looks really amazing with this new sword and everything. And I'm going to go over his skills. And he's going to be really useful in a lot of different content. So I'm very excited uh, about him as well. So his passive is that, um, you know, he's allies that gets immune to any kind of stun for six uh, turns. You know, that's why he was used in a, a raid a lot for... Uh, that purpose but now uh, in addition to that um, anytime when he makes a regular attack um, the cooldowns for your allies uh, decrease by 10 seconds so you know that's just really great um, reducing cooldown is just really great and this uh, for decks that you know have a um, high cooldown um, like a buff removing uh, skills and things like that um, the first skill the crush it is 70 second cooldown and 230% physical damage and for three turns um, increases damage that they take by 80% um, so I think he could be the better replacement for ace right now I think the ace has ace is let me just check real quick to uh, compare the specific number the reason why ace was used was because of that but now um, it's exactly the same as this. Any kind of damage they take by 80%. So, you know, uh, that's that's not bad. They're both the same. But Ace is for, you know, two uh, two turn. While Zeke is uh, for three turn uh, with the same cooldown. So, it's just, um, I think it'll be, you know, used more. And 